the energy vibration reading for all the Sun moon and rising um, Capricorns I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is the month of October and the month of October is the energy of justice it's an air energy the zodiac energy is going to be here and water two for two first weeks is going to be the energy vibration of hair the two last week is going to be the energy vibration of water but nothing to worry for you guys because it's just a month of transformation it's a month of bringing out your life you have the six of fire as your energy vibration in the month of October you Capricorns so this is going to be wonderful the six of fire is a positive energy I was guided to use this card deck because it's a very special card deck and I'll be using it very often the six of fire for you Capricorns is going to be stepping into the limelight being an enlightened influence to others okay so you don't have to be really in the limelight you you can just be at a positive um, sense of your being where you generously model and transform so that others might be inspired you put your light uh, at a peak at a hill so it can shine for it helping others to see their ways you remember and aware of the shadows and people who have trouble bashing in the warm light of the high awareness you're blessed them but do not dim your own light it's a time to renew any trust that you combine with I a good of all on your way to the top okay so what this is actually saying because this is so written so it says in it's in um, a, you know olden days it's saying that whatever is happening you're inspiring you in whatever thing you're doing in your life at this moment once you're vibrating on I energy vibration that you are changing the energy of other people and you're helping other people to um, elevate their light and to, you're using your beacon of your light to spread love in this world which is very good as we look at uh, these four weeks it's a very positive week um, first week you have the hurt energy balance in you second week is a very lucky week third week is the energy of the fire new beginnings and the fourth week you have the energy of the Empress so you begin the month with earth signs and uh, end in the month also with earth signs so now we're gonna take a look at the first week the first week you have patient whatever is happening you need to have patience in your life whatever situation that is going on you need to ignore uh, whatever negative energies and negativity that people are sending to you ignore it and have patience because once you ignore it and have patience you are going to get a message from the queen of coins and the energy of the queen of coins is a positive energy this is someone who is a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn and this person is going to help you and teach you how to have balance in your life and to have patient the energy of patient is a week where the Virgo energies of the hurt energy is going to come to balance you and this is why you could be meeting someone who is a Virgo who is going to help you to balance out certain aspect and certain situation in your life the Queen of Coins is a wonderful energy and whenever this uh, energy comes up in the first week there is a good message that is coming um, from her to you and this is going to be a very positive message okay so whoever this um, person is who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn I'm feeling it's the energy of a Virgo who's coming in to help you and bring you a good message okay that's in the first week as we look at the second week it's going to be wonderful it is the week of the nine of hair the nine of hair is going to be a week where a lot of people are going to be worrying about stuff and it is a week where people are worrying 
because there's a situation that is playing out at your home and this situation has to do with the queen of wands so whatever situation that is happening if you live with someone who is a Aquarius a, an Aquarius a Leo or a Sagittarius um, there is going to be a worrying situation that is playing out okay the nine of hair is a situation where this person at your home there is a situation that is happening it can be um, the energy of a masculine aspect of someone or the feminine aspect so it can be a man or a woman so let's say um, and if it's not at your home is at your work so be aware of this energy that is going to affect you guys it can be the Sun moon and rising sign of someone who you're living with who is a Aries Leo or a Virgo and that there is going to be a worrisome situation in the second week for your house situation wherever you live wherever you call home there is going to be a worrisome situation okay as we move and we look forward in the third week we have the ace of fire because the ace of fire is a new beginning so if say you were looking for a new place to live in the third week it's going to happen for you it's going to be wonderful you're going to find the right perfect place okay there is the energy of the Knight of um, the Knight of Swords. This is someone who is an Aries, a Leo, or a um, is um, I'm getting the Librans, the Gemini's, and the Aquarians. Okay, there is going to be a new beginning with this person. So whatever is happening someone who is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra is going to be in your life there is going to be a new beginning with this person okay and you women are going to be connecting with men who are of air signs okay so in the third week there is going to be a new beginning for you women and it could be vice versa but it's more the aspect of the women these are for people between the ages of 18 and 65 that there is going to be a new beginning with the energy vibration of someone who is an Aquarius a Gemini of a Libra okay this is going to be something positive this is going to be something good that is coming in your life and this is going to happen in the third week as we move on to the fourth week we have the energy of the Empress whatever is happening um, to the energy of the Empress um, this is wonderful you have the number three it is an earth energy that is helping you um, the month of October is going to be a very turbulent one um, in the sense that the earth energies are coming up to help you it can just be that you will be very busy and trying to um, heal certain aspect in your life very busy moving away and doing a lot of stuff whatever is happening the Empress is bringing you money in your life and this could be gifts this could be gifts from people these could be situations that are coming in your life if you have your own business you are going to see that a lot of um, a lot of clients will be coming in a lot of business will be coming in for you the third week is going to the fourth week is going to be a very positive week so whatever is happening with your financial situation whatever is happening with situation in your life this is going to be extremely positive you're going to see positive situation in your financial situation will be coming in and it will be coming in a lot because the energy of uh, this powerful energy that is coming in that mean money is about to enter your life in the last week so whatever is happening in the last week it's going to be very positive your financial situation you're going to have a very strong financial balance in your life so money is not going to be a problem in the last and four week so 
let's go back and look at your weeks I was guided not to give any number in this month for whatever reason the universal angels um, you know this is how they guide you as towards whatever is happening love is going to play a positive role um, in this month but first um, I need to give you another message and this other message is that information will be coming in to you and this information is news about a house documents related to property sales so if you're looking to sell your house or you might just realize that you have um, received a house that uh, maybe something that was stolen from you is being returned to you um, titles of a house contracts that have to deal with a house situation that sort of a thing so messages will be coming into a lot of people about even that you weren't aware that a property or a house will be returned to you and that sort of a thing if you're planning on selling a house it's going to be a good time because it's going to work out perfectly okay so um, good things good news about your house situation a lot of people will be moving I see a lot of people moving to new um, residents in this month as we move on we're looking at the situation um, with the energy of if you own a house or you're about to rent a house but um, it's going to be some place that you're going to feel at home and this is going to be good I see a lot of women's women are deciding to move and um, to go on their own or um, to go connect with other people to go to live with other people this energy is very positive and this energy is very good because uh, you're get, uh, taking back your independence and gaining your independence as we move forward we are seeing the energy of the number 15 we're seeing that a motherly figure or someone who's a boss is helping you and is being very protective of you and this is very good because whatever is happening is that it can be your mom for some people it's going to be a motherly figure or someone who is really connecting with you and protecting you throughout whatever situation is going on okay as we are vibrating with the energies of this month we are going to see what is love for you guys in this month because I haven't seen any um, thing about love coming up for you guys because second week was a week of worry so let's see what does the angels have for the Capricorn in the month of October uh, for love let's see what's happening for love uh, it's going to be a month where you're more focused on um, the business aspect where you're trying to balance out your own emotional feelings a lot of um, information a lot of um, people will be um, showing you and letting you know that they are interested in you so there is going to be a lot of love messages coming to you a lot of people showing affection to you a love is going to be a very positive energy if you're looking for a relationship if you're looking for your soul flame or your twin flame it is going to happen for the people who are looking and asking and has been trying to manifest it for the rest of the people some people are going to be um, thinking about themselves and trying to find themselves um, but um, they will be in search of uh, um, more the materialistic side so whatever is happening um, it's up to you what the energy vibration you want to bring in your own life as we move to the zodiac energies we are looking at the Sun people these are the people who were born um, in the morning hmm. These are the people who were born in the morning and um, this is um, in the morning from 12 a.m. at night until 6 p.m. in the afternoon we had the energy of the Sun 
uh, the sun rising people and you are going to be working with the scorpion and the cancers which is very good and the Gemini's the scorpions the cancers and the Gemini's so this is wonderful for you Sun people because the scorpions will help you to look deep within the, um, the the cancers are going to be wonderful to you because they're very loving and you connect this is your marriage partner so for you Capricorns who are looking for a marriage partner that's why the energy of love is so high in this month because uh, most of you will be connecting and finding your true love and your um, compatible partner which is the cancers the Gemini's are here too for the Sun people especially for the people who were who are caps you're very good to connect with the Gemini's which is very positive so if you meet someone who is a caps Gemini or a cap cancer or a cap scorpion it is a positive relationship for you by a sign for you um, sun sign people as we go and look at the moon sign people we have the energy vibration of Venus the planet of love is coming in and Venus is going to work with a Sagittarian so some of you Capricorns are going to be connecting with Sagittarians and Leo people the planet of Venus is bringing these people in your life to you um, love situations and heal a lot of positive energies um, the Sagittarians can be very good coupled if you were born at the first beginning of uh, um, um, at, at, at the first beginning of the um, the Capricorns say between 22nd and 22nd and um, the 30th it is a good couple with the Sagittarians okay so this is good even in love this is very wonderful I wasn't expecting um, such a wonderful wonderful um, aspect coming in but it is good so thanks to the universe and the guiding angels okay I'm using the angels of abundance um, energies for the last message and as we look at this month it's going to be a month of wonderful it's all about love in this month and the message from the angels of abundance for the Capricorn in this month is going to be you deserve it deserve it you are a beloved child of God like everyone else and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon the divine life purpose even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you are so this is wonderful this is a wonderful message to leave you Capricorns in this month of October and I want to say thank you for the support that you have been giving me thank you for your likes and shares please continue to do so please thumbs up and listen to your Sun moon and rising sign and I'm going to speak to you next week namaste